It's been one year since 53 people were killed and hundreds of homes and shops damaged or destroyed in communal violence in Delhi. The victims were overwhelmingly Muslim. How would professional investigators solve a crime like this? By first identifying the men and women who took part in the violence, and then investigating who mobilized and instigated them to do what they did. They start by looking at the dots and painstakingly connecting them to see where the train leads. But instead of doing that, the Delhi police have spent the past 10 months chasing down an imaginary conspiracy. In their eagerness to argue that the riots were the product of the protest against the Citizenship Amendment Act, the police say the supposed conspiracy goes back to provocative statements and smaller acts of violence that took place in December 2019 as part of that movement. But despite their best efforts, the Delhi police have not been able to link the activists they have arrested as key conspirators. Omar Khalid, Safura Zargar, Devangana Kalita, Sharji Lamam, Ishrat Jahan, Khalid Saifi, Natasha Narwal, Miran Haider, Asif Tanha and Shifa Ur Rahman to any actual act of violence. The Wire has spent the past few months doing what the police have refused to do. We've started with the small dots that were visible on videos posted by the rioters themselves and worked back to see who they were, how they were radicalized and how they ended up on the streets with guns, swords, bricks and iron rods. As we connected the dots, it became clear that this was not a riot planned by just one BJP leader who made just one inflammatory speech but had been worked on by many others since the third week of December 2019. And having created this foundry of hatred in which mainstream political leaders intersect with the so-called fringe and their dedicated media ecosystem, it is continuously being put to use to keep the communal pot boiling. The chronology we have established makes the nature of this actual conspiracy very clear. The faces and characters we will show you have been deliberately hidden from public view by the Delhi police's refusal to investigate them or even speak about them. Today, that silence ends. The Wire presents Delhi 2020, The Real Conspiracy. In the last week of February 2020, Delhi was shaken by the worst communal violence the capital had seen since the massacre of six in November 1984. But 2020 was similar to 1984 in two respects. First, the police made no effort to protect the victims. And second, leaders and activists associated with the ruling establishment played a major role in spreading hatred and instigating violence. In order to deflect attention from the clearly targeted nature of the violence and to hide its own obvious failures, the Delhi police blames the communal violence on Muslim and progressive activists who were involved in peaceful protests against the controversial Citizenship Amendment Act. The police in Delhi, incidentally, reports to the Union Home Ministry run by BJP leader Amit Shah. Over the past year, dozens of street-level rioters have been arrested. But the police insist the conspiracy to trigger violence was the handiwork of those opposed to the CAA. More than a dozen activists have been charged under the country's anti-terrorism law. In a voluminous charge sheet, the police claim that these activists had plotted to trigger riots during the visit to India of US President Donald Trump with the aim of defaming the Narendra Modi government in the eyes of the world and then overthrowing it by force. But does the police case really add up? Or have they set up a straw man in order to cover up the real conspiracy that is staring everyone in the face? In one of their charge sheets, they claim, incredibly, that the conspiracy to use Trump's visit to trigger riots was taken on January the 8th, 2020, even though neither India nor the United States had announced Trump's visit by that date. Even as they come up with improbable scenarios against the anti-CAA activists, the police have deliberately chosen not to investigate an influential group of men and women who had, since the third week of December 2019, 
been openly advocating the use of violence to end the peaceful anti-CAA protests. The reason the police have refused to investigate this group is because they are all part of the same Hindutva ecosystem which stretches from openly criminal elements on what is sometimes wrongly called the fringe all the way to BJP politicians and even ministers in the Modi government. The fact that BJP leader Kapil Mishra made an inflammatory speech at Majpur on the afternoon of February the 23rd is well known and the police have not just refused to investigate his role but conveniently exonerated him. But this is the same leader who as early as December 19, 2019 had advocated violence against the anti-CAA protesters and has been associated with other individuals who kept making these threats during the period before the actual outbreak of violence on February 23, 2020. When The Wire asked Mishra about his slogans calling for Jamia, JNU and AMU students to be shot, he first denied saying this. But when shown his own videos, he said it was not a big deal to say Goli Maro Saloko and that this reference to shooting was just an inconsequential rhyme. In December, I gave a speech in the people of the Mandal, in which you said that the people of the Jamia are going to kill the people of the Jamia. I didn't give a speech. It was not a speech, sir. I have it on my laptop. Yes, it was a speech in the CP. Sir, you gave a speech. What was the speech? The people of the Jamia are going to kill the people of the Jamia. No, I didn't say the Jamia. Sir, the Jamia said the Jamia. No, sir. I have a video. No, sir. 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 No, ये एक छोटा छोटा एक ये बात करने योग्य भी नारा नहीं है ये एक राय में इन सिमिलर वेन मिश्रा हैज डिनाइड दैट हिस स्टेटमेंट एट मॉर्चपुर ऑन द 23 फ़ेब्रुअरी वाज इंटेंडेड टू थ्रेटन वायलेंस इसी भी साहब हमारे सामने खड़े हैं मैं आप सब के बिहार पे ये बात कह रहा हूँ ट्रंप के जाने तक तो हम शांति से जा रहे हैं लेकिन उसके बाद हम आपकी भी नहीं सुनेंगे अगर रास्ते खाली नहीं हुए तो लास्ट ईयर द फॉर्मर दिल्ली पुलिस कमिश्नर अजयराज शर्मा टोल द वायर that had he been in charge of the Delhi police, he would have arrested Kapil Mishra and suspended the senior police officer who stood silently by as Mishra made his inflammatory remarks. However, after dragging their feet on the matter, the current heads of Delhi police have tamely accepted Mishra's claims of peaceful intent. In a shocking video released two months ago by Ragini Tiwari, who was filmed taking part in the Delhi riots of February 2020, this militant Hindutva leader threatens to unleash violence on the protesting farmers near Delhi, just as she had done on the anti-CAA protests at Mojpur and Jafarabad. I am not a man of the man of the man of the man. If the government is not going to remove the man of the man of the man of the man, then it will become the man of the man of Jafarabad. And Ragni Tiwari will open the road and close the man of the man. This will be the whole responsibility of the government and the government. We can't see it as a man of the man. If the government is not going to remove the man of the man of the man, or the government is not going to remove the man of the man, then Jafarabad will become the man of the man. आएगी और जो जो होगा उसकी जिम्मेदार केंद्र और राज्य सरकार होगी दिल्ली पुलिस होगी दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट कपिल मिश्रा हैथ फ्रेटन ऑन फेब्रुअरी ट्वेंटी थर्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड वॉट द हिंदुत्व लीडर्स लाइक रागनी तिवारी इंप्लीमेंटेड ऑन द ग्राउंड एट मॉजपुर एंड अदर प्लेस इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट दिल्ली एंड नाउ शी स्पीक्स ऑफ रिक्रिएटिंग जाफराबाद एल्सवेयर Mishra has denied that his statement on February the 23rd was intended to threaten violence and the police have accepted this claim at face value. But in their zeal to give a clean chit to the BJP leader and the Hindutva groups who were openly mobilizing themselves to unleash violence, police investigators have ignored the huge amount of evidence which exists in the public domain about this actual conspiracy. For example, in the run-up to Mishra's inflammatory comments at 2.30 on the afternoon of February the 23rd, a prominent Hindutva activist, Deepak Singh Hindu, took to Facebook to openly mobilize a mob at Mojpur Chowk at 2.30. In this series, The Wire will introduce you to several Hindutva activists and leaders who played a prominent role in spreading hate, mobilizing mobs, and then instigating violence. 
Some of them we have been able to identify, while the identity of the others is not known to us. Activists like Ragini Tiwari have even repeatedly boasted of their role on video. But what is astonishing is that the police have made no attempt to prosecute them for their role in unleashing violence which eventually took the lives of 53 innocent people, including a policeman. Today we will look at the role of two such characters, Deepak Singh Hindu and Ankit Tiwari. मैं लड़ने को तो अकेला ही इस लड़ाई को लड़ रहा हूं पर आज जो लड़ाई है आज जो धर्म युद्ध है मुझे आप लोगों का साथ चाहिए साथियों पूरी दिल्ली को शाहीन बाग बनाया जा रहा है पूरी दिल्ली को शाहीन बाग बनाया जा रहा है उसी कड़ी में ईस्ट दिल्ली के नॉर्थ ईस्ट दिल्ली के जाफराबाद को भी शाहीन बाग बना दिया गया कल रात से वहां भी दोनों सड़कों को बंद कर दिया गया है और हजारों की संख्या में जिहादी मानसिकता के लोग सड़कों पर उतर आए हैं पर हिजड़ों की तरह देखने से अच्छा है मर्दों की तरह मरना इस बात को ध्यान में कान खोलकर सुन लीजिए हिजड़ों की तरह देखने से अच्छा है मर्दों की तरह मरना और मैं दीपक सिंह हिंदू मैं इस लड़ाई को अंजाम तक पहुंचा के रहूंगा जरूर पहुंचे जरूर पहुंचे आज ढाई बजे मौजपुर चौक क्योंकि यदि दीपक सिंह हिंदू अकेला वहां पहुंचता है तो वो भी आप लोगों के लिए डूब मरने की बात होगी इसलिए सभी मेरे भाइयों से मेरा निवेदन है कि सभी बड़ी संख्या में ढाई बजे मौजपुर चौक पहुंचे लेट्स गो ओवर एग्जैक्टली वॉट ही सेड ऑन द मॉर्निंग ऑफ द डे दैट द वायलेंस स्टार्टेड रिमेंबर नो वायलेंस हैड बिगन एट द टाइम दैट ही रिकॉर्डेड दिस इंसेंजरी वीडियो दीपक सिंह हिंदू कॉल्स ऑन हिज व्यूअर्स टू असेंबल एट मौजपुर चौक एट टू थर्टी पी एम वाई टू थर्टी पी एम डिड ही नो कपिल मिश्रा वॉज ऑल्सो प्लानिंग टू बी दर एट द सेम टाइम What is the hidden hand that had fixed this time and place for the mobilization of a crowd that was being exhorted to launch violence? And why have the Delhi police not bothered to ask this basic question? The police claim that the anti-CAA activists blocked the road near Mojpur Chowk as part of their supposed conspiracy to trigger violence. So was Deepak Singh Hindu part of this conspiracy? Had he not given his call, would there still have been violence? Why has the police not charged him? Ironically, the Delhi police case truly collapses when we see how Deepak Singh Hindu and other activists had actually been planning to unleash violence even before the anti-CAA protesters blocked the Jafarabad metro station at Mojpur Chowk on February the 22nd, 2020. The police say this blockage was the trigger for the riots and that the anti-CAA activists were responsible for what happened. But on January the 23rd, 2020, a whole month before there was any roadblock at the metro station, Deepak Singh Hindu warned of the violence he was planning to unleash on the peaceful protesters. जो साहिन बाग भी जाता है, जामिया भी जाता है, जेएनयू भी जाता है, और तुम्हारी हजारों की भीड़ में अकेला दाढ़ कर आता है. ये नाम है दीपक सिंह हिंदू का. और ते यदि तुम देशभक्त होते तो इस देश का बटवारा मजहब के आधार पर नहीं होता यदि तुम देशभक्त होते तो इस देश का बटवारा ना होन देते पर तुमने इस देश का बटवारा मजहब के आधार पर करा है इसलिए तुम देशभक्त नहीं हो सोरो तुम केवल गद्दार 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 हो और गद्दारों को केवल जूते मारे जाते हैं और कोई दूसरा जवाब नहीं होता और अब तुम लोगों को जूते मारे जाएंगे सोरो इस बात को तुम लिख लो क्या यू जस्ट हर्ड द लीडर ऑफ द हिंदू फोर्स सेंग दैट ही वुड अनलिश वायलेंस ऑन द मुस्लिम प्रोटेस्टिंग द सी ए The BJP likes to suggest that people like Deepak Singh Hindu are some sort of fringe element. Yet the fact remains that he was actually echoing what senior party leaders like Parvesh Verma and Anurag Thakur, who is a minister in the Modi government, had been saying in the Delhi Assembly elections campaign at the end of January. The Gaddaro ko, holi maro saalo ko, desh ke Gaddaro ko, piche toh dawa jani chahiye, Gujarat ko thuna hi de. देश के को, देश के को, को। द वे द हिंदुत्व इको सिस्टम वर्क इज दैट देर इज कंटिन्यूस इंटरक्शन बिटवीन दीज एक्सट्रीमिस्ट एलिमेंट्स ऑनलाइन ऑफकोर्स बट ऑल्सो एट प्रोटेस्ट एंड ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स जो अपना सर्वस्व निछावर करके जो आज अपना सर्वस्व निछावर करके केवल और केवल राष्ट्र और धर्म के लिए खड़ी है 
जहां आजकल की मेरी माताएं बहनें अपने घरों से बाहर निकलना बड़ा गलत समझती हैं मेरी बहन दो दिन तक उन दंगाइयों के बीच में रात दिन खड़ी रही आज पूरे समाज को मेरी इस बहन के साथ खड़े होने की आवश्यकता है इक्वली दिस सो कॉल्ड फ्रिंज रेगुलरली इंटरक्ट विदोजली रिस्पेक्टेबल मेन स्ट्रीम ऑफ द बीजेपी But Deepak Singh Hindu is only one of the many Hindutva activists whose role in the Delhi violence and the police has willfully ignored. There are many, many more like him. If the BJP's Kapil Mishra served as the political face of the real conspiracy, and deepak singh hindu helped the hindutva organizations to mobilize a violent mob at majpur and other places in northeast delhi ankit tiwari was a willing foot soldier who can not only be seen engaging in violence but is happy to openly boast on social media about having killed muslims The wire looked into Tiwari's social media profiles which are full of hatred for Muslims. He also openly advertises his association with the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh. Tiwari can be seen in multiple videos openly inciting and indulging in violence. Jai Shri Ram bhaiyo, behan ke patthar patthar phekna shuru kar diya. Ab inki ke dekhte jao. Ab inki mullan ke पीछे से रास्ता है पीछे से हाँ पीछे से रास्ता है वो पत्थर डालो Curiously, while over a dozen anti-CAA activists have been in jail for several months now, Ankit Tiwari is free to roam the streets of Delhi, despite the evidence he himself has provided on his social media profiles. Alarmingly, he continues to post vitriolic videos threatening violence. In one video that he released on Instagram on November the 12th, 2020, Ankit Tiwari says he plans to join the army in order to kill Katuas or Muslims in Kashmir. Last October and November, an undercover reporter impersonated a woman in order to chat with Tiwari on Instagram. In these chats, he claims to have killed many Muslims. Ankit Tiwari says he did this in Majpur one night. We were all nationalist friends with ammunition, he says. He also claimed that some members of the RSS. Bajrang Dal and ABVP organized themselves into joint teams using coded language to signify violence against Muslims he said we distributed prasad properly in another instagram story tiwari claims to have killed many mullahs and katwas as with deepak singh hindu tiwari too is not a lone wolf but part of a violent ecosystem of activists in one of his chats he says that he knows ram bhakt gopal the activist who opened fire on Jamia students who were protesting against the CAA on January the 30th 2020 3 weeks before the large scale violence in Delhi was initiated Tiwari also told us that he took part in an RSS organized rally in Connaught Place on December the 20th 2019 where Kapil Mishra raised slogans in support of the CAA and NRC and he posted a video of himself at an election rally in Delhi where Amit Shah was speaking सभी भाइयों को एक सूचना देनी थी भाई कि सी के सपोर्ट में आज शाम को पाँच बजे कनॉट प्लेस में आना भाई सभी को सी के सपोर्ट में हम एक रैली निकाल रहे हैं भाई जो भाई आना चाहता है भाई वो मैसेज कर दें एक बारी और पाँच बजे पहुंच जाना है अपने आप आपको वहां पे सब लोग मिल जाएंगे
More chillingly, he boasts that he and his associates are planning another round of riots and that all the preparations have been made. He also claims that whenever the National Register of Citizens is implemented in Delhi, there will be another round of riots. In the second part of the Wire series on the real conspiracy behind the Delhi riots of 2020, we will introduce you to four more characters from the capital's Hindutva network. And we will show you how these characters and the poison they spew form part of the ruling establishment's political project for not just Delhi, but India as a whole. To receive instant updates on all videos from The Wire, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Pay to support independent journalism. Click the link in the description and choose the amount you want to pay.